Hey, you got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So if you could plant some firebombs, they go bang, the emergency call goes out, we hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless-ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Any, many, money, mo. Hmm. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. And what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access through the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that, and we keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Hmm, well, I can always change my, uh, change my decision later. For now, I'll do roof entry, because I think that sounds badass. Of course. Now, you'll need a, a hacker, a gunman, and a driver. The hacker won't come in with you, but they'll help you break the system, talking you through the process from a remote location. Okay, so a hacker. It's Ricky. That weirdo. Let's do Ricky. Ricky, I know he didn't do so good at the jewelry store, but he's probably gotten better, and he's still the same price. I don't know how long it'll take you to get into the network. The gunman's there to buy you the time you need. Let's see, who's a good gunman? Hmm. Self-accuracy... I think we'll do him. Daryl, uh, I'm not hearing great things to be honest, but you just might be able to do this with him. The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. They'll source a vehicle, so bear that in mind. Okay, driver. This girl, Taliana, she's supposed to be good, and she'll work for way less than she's worth, if you believe that. Let's do it. I'm not gonna pass her up. Okay. That all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. <laughs> uh... Yeah. And we have a winner. I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. Alright, shit, hit me. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well... As long as he can't do it without us. Okay. <sighs> yeah. We just might need him for it. But I think the, uh... The roof entry would be a lot more fun. Just my opinion. I can always replay and experiment with the other option later.
we always got the ability to replay any missions we want to. Which I fucking love. Because a lot of these missions are really, really fun. I believe it's time for a quick save. One sec. Cool. Yeah, 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 man. The station is kind of boring now. Yeah. Hey, sugar plum. Daddy, I'm in trouble. What is it? money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Okay. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh, yeah. We'll talk. Oh, on the way. Coming, Tracy. Might as well help out a family member in need. Help her uh, like us a little bit more. Should help. Oh, uh, yeah, around here. <sighs> yeah, we're we playing a lot of these missions. So many times. <laughs> Playing through them the first time, you're really like, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. But as it goes on, if you're playing it more, you'll pretty much become a master at them and know exactly what to do. Coming! Nice car. Let's see if we can it's find tiny. Him. Okay. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than giving you money, putting a roof over your head, speaking to guys who ridicule you on TV. <laughs> yeah, true. Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Okay. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? A plastic edition? Well, you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. Ugh. Come on, I Tracy. Like signing autographs at the expo. Found this brick? Not yet. Okay. Oh, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crockahoo? Okay. My baby girls are still loving their very own stuff. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. Ah! Purple car! That's him! Fuck! He's on you! Let's go! Okay, stop him. Come here, stalker. Go, Daddy. Stop. Hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk. Seriously, I didn't know she already had a sugar daddy. Oh, she's got a sugar daddy. A pretty pissed off one at that. Not so creepy when there's a grown man in the car. I swear he was gonna do something, Dad. Yeah, well now we're the ones who are gonna do something. All kinds of things. Freaking pull over. That's what being fucked in the ass feels like. Pull your ass over. Right now. Hey, creepo. I'm her father, not a sugar daddy. Get out. What the hell? Ah! He's out of the car. I get it. I'm going. I'll never come back. I'm an addict. I need to. Yeah. <laughs> Don't kill me for loving her! That ain't love! It's the internet! You're a- uh, Stay down. I think he's dead. <laughs> ok. 
Good job, Daddy. Yeah. Um, hold on, let me move this out of the way. Damn, shut up. This, in case you hadn't guessed, is a pop station. I, I can't bear it. Can't Oops. believe you did that. What? We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him. This was infinitely more persuasive. <laughs> he never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. <sighs> you That's bitch. I'm glad I could use my paternal rage productively for once. Oh, get rid of this crap. There we go. What a bitch! I was helping you! How dare you say that I'm... You know, a psycho for helping you out. How dare you? Oh, the things I do for this family. Things that I do. I'm just like, nope, don't care. She's a spoiled little bitch, huh? <laughs> Time to talk to Solomon! Let's see what our movie buddy is up to. And skip ahead, thank you. Hello, hello. Good to see you, Slick. Devin, the hell are you doing here? It's over, Michael. You're done good, kid. You kept this bullshit up long enough to help me trigger a fantastic insurance payout when the plug is pulled. I love you. You're, you're like my spirit brother now. Where's Solomon? He's out getting the negatives of film, whatever the fuck it is. The last dinosaur in town is about to get fossilized. What are you talking about? Look, the movie's nearly done, so if the plug's pulled now, the investors, meaning us, get a massive insurance payout. Meanwhile, I can use that to get the other major shareholder, the old bastard's idiot son, to agree to tear this relic down and let me redevelop the area for condos. <laughs> and in this economy, the city's gonna let me build tax-free. I might even get some rebates. It is a brilliant thing, and it is all thanks to you and Molly's eye for the details of the insurance policy. Michael, they're fucking us! The suits! And they don't even wear suits! Wolves in turds clothing! Try not to take it too badly, Mr. Richards. Were you ever a human being? Look, people used to like films, now they like what? Videoing themselves, beating off on their iFruit phones. Don't blame me. I'm a very spiritual person. I feel badly about this. But evolution is evolution. Gentlemen, Molly. Namaste. Can I take the film now, Mr. Richards? My plane leaves in 25 minutes. Can't we do something? At least let me finish the picture. Then close the place down. I'm afraid our timetable doesn't allow for that. Goodbye, Mr. Richards. Where the hell is she going with that movie? She is taking the only copy offshore. Somewhere nice and discreet. Analog. God, it's certainly got its complications. Michael, can you do something? No, he can't do anything, pal. It's an inevitability. <sighs> My wife got screwed by a yogi. And now I'm getting screwed by a yogi? Fuck that! I'm a producer! Nobody fucks with my film! Ugh. Let's do this! Talk to her. That's it. I don't know, we might do more than that. <laughs> yeah, I like this music right now. We're a producer, nobody fucks with our movie! Slick, you're not thinking. Hey, I'm a producer. I'm producing the goods. Don't do this, Slick. Think. She's got a police escort. She's on the way to my personal hangar. Security at the airport worked for me. I just want to get the film back before she does anything rash with it. 
Molly's highly strung. She's not gonna stop and talk it out with a deranged killer chasing after her. That ain't who I am. Today, look, I don't want to hurt <laughs> anyone. I just want to get my move. Slow down and use your brain. Fun time is over. <sighs> oh, keep going. Don't listen to that asshole. Never liked Devin. Such a dick. Just replace the word N is in, in his name with the word L. What do you got? Yep. And that's why I don't like him. Get the fuck out of the way. Shit. Music in this game just kicks ass. I don't know, what is she doing? Oh crap. What the hell? What's wrong with her? Oh cool. Haha, <laughs> that's badass. Oh shit. Not paying attention, that's what happens. Come on, come on! Whoa, shit! Holy shit! That was close. What are you doing, you crazy bitch? Damn, she's moving. What the fuck is wrong with this bitch? Whoa! Holy shit! This is insane! Come on! No, no, oh no. shit! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa shit! That man's a murderer! Nice you ass. Let's go. Clear the hangar. Save me from this murderer. Lady, you need a friend. Stop him. Stop him. He's a killer. Come Get here. Oh, hey, 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 stop. stop. Look out. What's she doing? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, my gosh. That fucking sucks. Holy fuck. That sucks, dude. That look at all this. Oh my lord, there was a hand there. Holy shit, that sucks. Let's get out of here. Hang on! I don't know why I'm saying hang on, there's no one here with me. Holy fuck, that was crazy! <laughs> Damn, she got fucked! <laughs> oh my gosh! She got fucked! I just. Damn, dude! That tight ass. Oh well. Sexy ass is now in a million, million pieces. Oh man. <laughs> I 
I really don't know what to say. I just... Wow! I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming at all. Holy fuck, this game is awesome. 